How about that range on Caleb? Holy God. Thank you. I'm going to recommend if you took your lunch break from work to come here, don't go back to work. Your, your day just peaked. It won't get any better than what you just experienced right now. Unless you're a teacher and go back. Right, of course. You're helping the future, please. So as you're writing your dark songs in the winter, your happy songs in the summer, how democratic is the process between the two of you as far as songwriting goes? Uh, Drew's tuning, so I'll, I'll respond real quickly and then let him respond. <laughs> that wasn't very democratic, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it is, uh, we have a system for it. Um, I think that before I wrote with Drew, I probably wrote with a hundred other people. I was like the eager kid, I just wanted to get it done, I wanted to write a good song. But when I met Drew, I noticed the thing that was different between the two of us was that we had no problem starting or working on an idea that another person that or then a, that another person had started. So sometimes, like I brought the riff for end of it to Drew, and I was like, "This is pretty cool. Um, I'm just playing the pentatonic though. There's got to be something cooler that we can do with this." And he was like, "I got you." <laughs> and then, and I don't know. It, it is very democratic in that way. Like it's we. We hear each other's ideas out, and more so than we say yes to each other, we know when to say no, and that works. Yeah, um, I completely agree with Kayla. I mean, it's like, it's really refreshing to work with somebody, because it's like, we, we both, and all of us, at the end of the day, we all want the same thing. I mean, we want to write great songs, and we want to write songs that like mean things to people, and that like impact people in a certain way. And it's not that every song is the like deepest, like most poetic thing, but it's like, some songs are meant to just like, have fun, you know, and it's not like the most deep poetic thing. Um, but in that, it's cool because we all push each other and we all like can challenge each other's ideas and still be like, no, this could be better. Like we can do better. And there's like, there's very little settling, I think, you know, and it's fun. Like I think every day we surprise ourselves with the kinds of songs we're able to write, you know? Yeah. And, and, um, <laughs> I'm at a spelling bee. <laughs> Anesthetist. Oh, oh you. Um, no, but we, another great thing that Drew and I found is that in finding people that want to put up with us and play and getting to be with our best friends that we do well, where we can start the meat of a song, but when we go to other people, I think the first, the, oh, a great thing about us, or a great thing about the dynamic that we have, a great thing about <laughs> us is, um, <laughs> is that we can go, like everyone has their thing that they do and they do it really well. And that helps the songwriting process so much to open that group up a little bit. Um, and then we've even got to the point where people are bringing ideas and, and that's like, that's awesome. It just feels good. You, you grow closer to somebody when you do that. I don't know why I just sounded like I was gonna cry. I think it's the nerves, but. <laughs> and, <laughs> Highly emotional. <laughs> um, no, but it. <laughs> It, it does feel very good. Like those, you are making art with those people, and whether you want to listen to the bad part of your brain telling you that what you're doing is stupid, or whether you want to listen to the egotistical part of your brain telling you that everything you do is going to be gold, you find a happy medium in between with other people, and that's the benefit of writing with others. So, quick sidebar: uh, Do you guys like beer? Yeah. Uh, the lounge is brought to us by Coors Light. Thank you to them. Picnic is happening June fifteenth. You are one of. Just a handful of A-list bands, high caliber bands playing out in Tinley Park. We cannot wait to see you do a full set there. Uh, if you don't have tickets, get your tickets. All the information online, 101wkqx.com slash picnic.